Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing room for our Redmi Note 11 and this one is the Alpha room and it is based on the Android 13. The security patch of this room is also all the way latest as you can see here. This is the Alpha official build so it is based on Android 13. The security patch is all the way latest 5 July 2023 and uh, now it should be changed with the August security patch but in the next update we will be seeing uh, august security patch and se linux status is also enforcing in this rom so here we have alpha droid version which is the 1.7 you can also check the build date and other options right from here so in this video i will be showing you a full review of this rom and uh, i will also tell you is it stable for daily usage or not and at the end of this video i will also show you how to install this on your redmi note 11 so without any further ado let's get started before starting the video make sure to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates so first of all let's talk about the stability this room is kind of stable there is no any single bug or issue in this room everything is just working fine and as you can see here, the app opening speed is also pretty much good it is just opening every application quickly and in the camera here we have this simple camera pre-installed right here you can only capture decent photos and videos and you can also scan the documents and if you want full dedicated gcam uh, with all the sensors and features working then let me know in the comment section i will drop the link there uh, of uh, gcam and uh, if we talk about the applications here we have only few and needed applications as you can see here uh, junkie application and bloatware are not available here we also have the game space and uh, then we have fm radio and other things record is also available and from the home screen you can edit out the alpha settings then you can customize the widgets you can just simply add customize to the home screen to make it look more unique and beautiful so then you can go to the wallpaper and style from here you can change the wallpaper here we have a few wallpapers pre-installed then we also have the alpha wallpapers pre-installed and let's try this one this is working pretty much good accent color is also set it automatically from the left you can access the google now now let's go to the settings and have a look on the customizations so first of all the ui of settings is completely different from the typical roms it looks pretty much beautiful as you can see here here we have the alphabet right here and from here you can access the all customizations then we have network and battery option right after the uh, alphabet uh, settings as you can see here connectivity options are available in the new style and here we have the search you can simply operate the whole settings ui by using only one hand so the quick settings looks like this normal ui and uh, in the alphabet here we have user interface first of all from here you can enable the ambient display which is also known as always on display and it is working pretty much fine here we have charging animation full screen apps screen of animation this video can go a few longer because there are a lot of features and i have to cover it out in this video then we have monet settings brightness bar settings and brightness bar slider so let's try this one so as you can see here you can also customize the brightness bar right from here let's try this fluid one as you can see here it looks pretty much cool isn't it let's old school thumb okay it looks pretty much cool and then we have uh, brightness notification style you can also change the notification style i don't have any notification so uh, it, it is not that easy to understand it then we have qs panel settings let's try cyberpunk v2 and it looks like this it is pretty much unique settings then we have ui style and uh, setting style navbar style you can also change the setting style ui right from here you can change the icon pack font signal icon pack wi-fi icon style and other icon settings then we have status bar settings from here you can manage the status bar icons notification icons battery indicators and uh, network indicator and other things so you can also enable a logo which is shown at the left top you can also change its styles then we have the battery style then we have button settings from here you can tweak into the power and volume button settings 
then we have lock screen settings notifications navigation sound and uh, in the sound area we have in call vibrations and all other typical options then we have misc in the misc we have game space and you can also unlock the higher fps in games from here you can also uh, enable the unlimited storage for photos you can also spoof the netflix these features are really advanced parallel space is available high developer status then we have screen swipe three sync fingers to screenshot and pocket detection and all other options are available that's mean you can do gaming on this rom so after it here we have location connectivity and then we have display in the display we have usually the same options you can adjust the screen size and text size then we have night light live display you can change the color profile rotation settings smooth display you can enable it out it gonna automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz for some content like while playing games or scrolling on social media then we have tap to wake tap to sleep so if you don't have any option to set up minimum or maximum refresh rate in this rom so let's go back after it here we have wallpaper and style sound and vibrations let's have a look if we have any sound enhancer so here we have the main sound enhancer pre installed in rom and uh, hi-fi is also available this setting is going to increase your sounding experience in this room then we have notification app security now in the security every security option is available as you know the security patch of this room is also latest so face unlock fingerprint on screen locks everything is just working fine then we have privacy storage accessibility password google system in the system we have languages and input live translate system profile gestures in the gesture we have quickly open camera system navigation bar you can also enable three button navigation bar and here we also have the one handed mode you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand then we have press and hold power button and prevent ringing is not available i don't know why then we have date and time backup updater rules multiple user reset backup uh, updater is also working as you can see here the update is available right here and it is the 1.5 gb you can just simply download the update right from here so after it here we have about phone section from here you can check the android version which is 13 security patch is 5 july 2023 alpha android version is 1.7 and the rom is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine so if you want to install this rom then the download link is in the description box and the battery backup of the rom is also pretty much awesome let me show you by going to the battery so where is the battery here we have it so as you can see here it is showing about of one day and 3 hours left and from here you can also enable the performance mode thermal profiles battery usage and then we have adaptive battery battery optimization and battery life is just killing it and uh, the download link of this rom is in the description box and you can install it out on your redmi note 11 by following the on screen instructions so this was the video for today i hope you guys like this video if you have any question or queries about this video then let us know in the comment section and you can also join us on the telegram telegram group and channel link is in the description box keep supporting thanks for watching peace don't forget to subscribe